So we have 30 300 gallon cattle stock tanks out here and we're trying to find out the best way to raise crawfish frogs, which is a state endangered species here in Indiana. And there's two locations that have a very strong population in the state. And we're hoping to establish some more populations throughout the state. So the idea here is if we can raise these uh, frogs from eggs through their tadpole stage, they'll have a better chance at surviving in the wild and establishing a population. So the minnow trap does a really good job at capturing them sometimes. It also gives them some relief too. So like it's floating. They don't mm -hmm. have to worry about swimming or anything when they get in there. They're kind of held safe and it's nice for us and nice for the frog. Tracking them down and with the net can be kind of difficult. Well, there's two. So we have these tanks set up experimentally. We're trying to raise them at three different densities. Some tanks have 20 frogs, others have 40 and then 60. And we're also trying a couple different diets to figure out what diet works best for the frogs to raise the most robust guys for release. What I do, I have the rabbit chow and I have the bug bites. So I'm just walking around and feeding the tanks that get, the, get these food. So this tank, it says rabbit chow right on the front and I just take this and toss it right in there. It sinks to the bottom and the tadpoles will eat it. This guy gets bug bites. So we're just grabbing our frog and holding him gently on his back. And we're measuring something called snout vent length, which is just the, the tip of the frog to his nose. And that would be 2.1 for this guy. And 1.33 grams. To the nursery. Here he goes.